God is spirit, and as spirit, he speaks. He wants to communicate. The first thing you hear about God from the Bible is that he spoke. His speakings are a very important part of his personality. He created everything by speaking. It is important that you know how God speaks because his words is what affects and interacts with his creation. We are shaped, transformed by the information that comes to us by time. God understands that. So it is important to know how he speaks. There are two basic ways by which God will speak. He speaks either by inspiration or by revelation. What is inspiration? Inspiration simply means that I loan my thoughts to someone else to communicate using the environment of his mind. The Bible says inspiration is the breath of God. It's sort of God breathing upon a man so that that man can communicate God's essence and God's life through the environment of his mind. Inspiration gives birth to ideas. We call it ideas in our world, but it's actually a product of an inspiration. When God inspires a man, he shows that man his intention, his desires, and allows the man to use the language within the environment of his mind to communicate it. And so, based on the man's communication, uh, the understanding of the people may be limited. But inspiration is one way that God speaks. The Word of God was written by inspiration. He inspired different men from different generations and they were able to pen down and communicate his thoughts. But there's another way. It's called revelation. Unlike inspiration, where God puts his thoughts in you and allows you the leverage of communicating it based on the environment of your mind or based on the generation you find yourself. Revelation is God bringing a disclosure to you. He shows you what is beyond your intellectual capacity or what is beyond your generational timeline. And he even gives you the words by which you will communicate. So it's more or less dictator dictatorial when God reveals to you. God puts something in man, in, in our mind. It's called an imagination. That imagination is like a theater where God showcases his realities. Your imaginations allow God to paint the realities of his realm. So we think that we are seeing something coming from outside, but we are actually seeing it's like a projector. You know, something is being projected for you to see what is being played. So revelation, he shows you, he reveals like he revealed to Daniel. And one, I want you to know that God wants to inspire you today with an idea that can change your world. He wants to reveal to you something that will bring a total change to you.